friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I have Zoya's Darling Collection. This is their spring 2021 collection. It's six pieces. They're all creams. I'm pretty excited about it. They're nice colors. Um, so let's dive in and talk about the six pieces in this collection and then at the end I will tell you a little bit more about my favorites and my thoughts on the collection as a whole. Okay, first up is Zoya Val, and this one is the blue from this collection. I'm so glad we got a blue in this collection. Um, Zoya describes it as a relaxing mid-toned sky blue cream, and I definitely do see the sky blue in here, but it's got a little bit of dustiness that I kind of wasn't expecting when I saw the promo photos. I thought it was going to be a little bit brighter. Um, I had a lot of people asking me to compare this to Cornflower from my brand, uh, and I was kind of like yeah they're gonna be really close and then once i got it in person i was like actually no this is it's got a lot of gray in here um but it's really lovely the formula is not as you know kind of like chalky as some kind of lighter pastel-y colors can be um so i'm really happy with that it's very easy to apply you can see here that definitely one coat is a little bit patchy um you might get a little bit smoother application if you use the z wide brush but i do think that two coats is probably going to be your best bet with val um especially you know just these lighter colors you need a little bit of that um a little bit of that extra second coat Although when I show you my comparisons in a second, you're gonna see this one's not as light as I originally thought it was. It's actually like pretty pigmented and pretty vibrant compared to some other Zoya's light blues. So really excited to show you some comparisons. Okay, here are some comparisons for Val. Uh, this one is super unique, which is awesome. I feel like Zoya is coming out with some cool, unique blues, which I'm all about. Y'all know I'm all about it. Uh, I do think this one's pretty different. Um, Tommy was requested as was Kristen, but they're both, yeah, they're both really different. Tommy's much more gray. Kristen is much more gray, but also a lot lighter. Um, and then I also wanted to pull in, you know, Emerson, Blue, Lake, Lillian, some of these lighter blues. So I'm going to show you this one um, on the nails compared to just a couple of these. I'm going to show you compared to Kristen. I'm going to show you it compared to Tommy, just because that's a recent one. Um, and then I will show it to you compared to Blue. So you'll see those uh, four on the nails and yeah, but they're pretty different. I am going to show you very quickly um, Val compared to my Cornflower. I usually only do Zoya comparisons in these videos, but I did have a couple people request um, a comparison here. And I think Val is just, it's not a periwinkle. It's really like a kind of blue gray color. So I did just wanna show you that. Um, like I said, I usually only do Zoya's, but I had enough people ask me that I thought it was helpful to share these two in this video. Okay, here we go. This is blue Val. Kristen and Tommy and yeah I think Val looks super different here um, just like it did on the swatch sticks I think you can see it's a lot more like a vibrant blue it looks almost sky blue here compared to these but um, you know it's definitely got that kind of gray nice like deep gray tone in it so that is Val Okay, here's Kaylee, which is one of the two kind of more neutral shades in this collection. There's two neutrals and then four that I describe as like pretty pigmented spring colors. So I describes this one as a calming light lilac purple cream. They are here this spring for the like calming, relaxing shades, which cool. I feel like that's great. <laughs> we could all use a little bit of calm in our lives. Um, they say Kaylee is a five on the opacity scale. So even though it is this kind of lighter, more neutral color, you are still going to get that opacity. Um, the formula is still going to get nice and opaque in two coats. Uh, I, I would say this one's very similar to Val. It's not chalky. It's not going to run or pool, um, but you are going to want to build it up on two coats for sure. I really like this one. Um, I was absolutely positive <laughs> that it was going to be similar to birch or to heather or one of those lighter purples from zoya but it's actually a lot more pigmented than i thought it was so i'm excited to show you those comparisons so you can see what i mean um because i actually think this one does have a lot of purple in it which is cool so it's a neutral but it's got some punch Okay, here are some comparisons for Kaylee. I do think this one is pretty unique in Zoya's collection. I pulled in some other kind of like neutral purples, Birch and Kendall, and then Heather is, it's like kind of between a pink and a purple, but it's also in that like neutral family. Uh, so I thought I'd bring that one in. And then I also brought in the two kind of lightest purples from Zoya, Abby and Marley has like a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but I'm gonna consider it a cream <laughs> for all intents and purposes. Uh, Abby is definitely more purple purple. Kaylee has more of that kind of like, 
like neutrally almost like mauve vibe to it um, and then Marley is obviously much more blue toned so again I think Kaylee is pretty unique here uh, I am going to show you it on the nails compared to Birch, Kendall and Heather just so you can see those neutrals all together and I have done a light purple comparison video so I'll put that up above if you want to see that um, obviously Kaylee's not in it but you can see some of these others um, in more detail Okay, here we go. Kaylee is definitely more purple than these ones, but you know, we looked at like the swatch stick of Abby and Abby is a super light purple, but it is too purple for this, right? It's too purple. So I'm just gonna bring that back just to show you. It's definitely not the right color. It's too kind of purple and too kind of light. So that's Abby. Um, so it's definitely not, you know, not a dupe either. Um, I think Ka Kaylee is, yeah, I think it's unique, which is pretty cool. Okay, the other more neutral polish in this collection is Mara. And Zoe describes this one as a soft, muted, rose-toned mauve cream. And I definitely can see that kind of rosy tone here. You know, I am going to show you this one compared to some other mauves from Zoya, like Brigitte and Rue. And this one definitely has a little bit more pink in it, which is really great. But it's very muted. It's very soft. Um, I do kind of wonder if this one is named after someone who used to be on YouTube. Um, she's no longer here. Uh, Mara was, um, oh my goodness, free... Oh, I can't remember her channel name now, um, but she had a really great, um, she did a lot of Zoya comparisons, a lot of other swatches, but she's no longer swatching um, and her name was Mara. So I do wonder if this is named after her. Um, they say this one is intensity five and the formula on this one, I feel like, I mean, this video is six creams. It's gonna be a little repetitive, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, but it is very, very similar um, to the first two. I would say that's even a little bit smoother than the first two we looked at, maybe just cause it's a little bit of a deeper color. Okay, here we go. Here are some comparisons for Mara. It is here uh, kind of at the end. I tried to put these in order of like pink to, I don't know, brown, tan, mauve -y color. Uh, and I definitely think that Mara is unique. I mean, it definitely fits in this kind of spectrum here. Uh, it's less pink than Zana, but more pink than Rue and a little bit less of this kind of like tan, you know, almost like orangey, creamy color. It's got more pink in it than, than any of these up here. So I'm gonna show you this compared to some of these on the nails, but I do think that it is pretty unique. Um, I'm curious how close it will look to Xana and Rue because in the bottle it looks a lot closer, but I think on the nails it's probably gonna look as different as it does here. Okay, here are some lovely mauve neutral colors. Um, definitely Mara is unique to these ones. I mean, Zoya has a lot of these, so there might be one that, you know, is best suited to your skin tone. Um, the first comparison video I ever did was a neutral mauve comparison video. It's actually one of the most viewed on my channel, which is funny because I like filmed it on my iPhone and the quality is just not that good. <laughs> you can film really good videos on your iPhone, but not the like crappy iPhone I had two years ago. So um, anyways, this is, yeah, I think it's unique. I think this collection is so interesting because it's full of these shades that are like a little bit different than other shades from their collection. Um, there's nothing in here that really feels like super standout, which I think is so interesting. It's just an interesting choice. Um, but you know, I feel like Zoya Spring Collection's kind of, they're smaller, they're maybe less punchy, uh, but yeah. This is, this is Mara. Okay, next up is the pink in this collection. We know there had to be a pink and spoiler alert, there's actually two pinks in this collection, but it's described as a bright and uplifting bubblegum pink cream. They say this one is intensity five and that it's warm toned. And I'm gonna do my comparisons in a second. I did not include Jodi, um, honestly, because I kind of forgot how recent Jodi was and it is super different than Tweety, but a lot of people on Instagram have asked me how this one compares to Jodi, so after I filmed my comparisons, I kind of regretted <laughs> that I left it off, but this one really is very, very warm toned. So you're gonna see it compared to some other cool toned pinks from Zoya, and it really is that kind of like warm, juicy bubble gum. This is the only one in the collection that you might wanna do three coats on. I'm showing you it here in two coats, but depending on your application, depending on, you know, if you use that Z wide brush, I, I could see you maybe needing three coats, especially on longer nails. This one's just a little bit more sheer, a little bit more like fluffy, if you will. Okay, so here are some comparisons for Tweety and I am wearing Josie on my nails right now. This one broke, so just ignore that. I wanted to show you some of these lighter pinks. Um, I think Sweet looks probably the closest, um, but Tweety's definitely a little bit lighter. Jordan is similar in terms of, I think like how pigmented it is, 
but it has a lot of that kind of blue base in it. Okay, here we go. Um, I do think that this one is unique. I would say that Tweety is probably closest to sweet, um, but I do think it's unique. I don't think that it's a dupe for any of these. Um, again, it's you know, it's probably up to you, right? Like it might be too close for you. Um, I definitely think sweet is a little bit more kind of like neutral. Tweety's got a little bit more of that like white base to it and sweet's just a little bit like softer. Uh, so you all know that these are not my favorite colors. Uh, so I'm not gonna be an expert here. I think that this one, you know, if you love a good light pink like this, you might love Tweety um, or you might have some that are similar and you're good to go. Okay, here's Ella. I love this one so much. Uh, you all know that corals and oranges are pretty hard to capture. Uh, they take a little bit of tweaking of the camera. So I do think that I've got this one pretty close, but definitely the comparisons will give you a good sense of kind of how it fits in with some others that you might be familiar with. Um, but it is this really bright, juicy, coral that is just like right between pink and orange like it really is smack dab in the middle and they describe this one as a refreshing coral cream with a kiss of pink undertones so they say it has a little bit more pink undertone i i really think that it's right in between orange and pink um but i'm excited to show you those comparisons so you can make that decision for yourself this one has a really nice formula i got it opaque in two coats i, I found it very easy to work with Again, Zoya creams are, are pretty good, so that's not gonna be a surprise to anyone, but I just love this color. I'm feeling like I'm just craving color right now. I'm like ready for spring. Um, I wore Joyce actually. I mean, you've already seen it in some of my comparisons here and I just, I was ready for it. I was ready for the color and this one's gonna be next on my list because I am, I'm excited to have some color in my life. So that's Ella and that's in two coats. Okay, here are some corals for Ella. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. <laughs> I love them all so much. I have done both the pinky corals and the orangey coral comparison videos, and so I can link those up above here too um, if you wanna see more in-depth comparisons of these polishes. They're some of the first videos I did, so don't judge me on the quality, but the content is good. You know, the content is good. Um, okay, so Ella's here. I do think it's kind of right between some of these more orangey corals and some of these more pinky corals. It is not a dupe for any of these, I don't think. I mean, we'll get them on the nails and see what it looks like, but I do think it kind of sits right in between. Um, it's almost like a like a very salmon-y coral because um, it really has some of that pink and some of that orange. So yeah, here we go. Let's look at them on the nails. Okay, here we go. So I really thought that Ella was gonna be more unique to be honest, but it looks like it's very, very close to Wendy. I will say it's not exactly the same. It is a little bit lighter and, and a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit more orange, but I think what you're seeing on camera is pretty much what I see in real life, and they're very, very, very close. Wendy is a hair more pink. Um, on my swatch sticks, they looked a lot more different than they do on my nails. These might be colors that really just depend on your undertone as well. Um, they might look really different than you if you have darker skin or lighter skin than I do. These are the kind of colors that might really, really shift just because of how, you know, how white based they are, how much red and pink and orange is in them. But um, yeah, I think on me, at least these two look pretty close. And I would say they have like pretty similar formulas. Um, these two over here, Elodie and Maya, are definitely a little bit more like jelly formulas. Um, whereas both Ella and Wendy are, yeah, they're, they're creamy. They're like pretty similar. So I'm gonna leave this one up to you. That's what I'm gonna do. Last but certainly not least is Joyce, and you have seen this one a couple times in this video because I've been wearing it when I'm filming my comparisons, and Zoya describes this one as a juicy hot pink cream, and there's something about this color that is just so delicious. It's got a lot of like red in it. It kind of reminds me of those red corals that Zoya has, like Virginia and Sonja. I, I really, really like it. Um, it's very, very warm toned. There's no blue tone in here, in my personal opinion. Um, and it has a really great formula. I found it super easy to apply. It goes on in two coats and it's bright, but not neon, right? It's just like really vibrant and really, really fun. It just kind of like, I don't know, it glows. <laughs> it really brought some excitement to my nails. I, You know I'm not a pink lover. Like you all know that. Um, but I absolutely loved wearing this. It was so much fun. So much fun. Um, so Joyce, I think, again, really good cream formula. I think it gets opaque in two coats. Um, I can't imagine you needing three unless your nails are super duper long. 
Okay, here's some kind of group comparisons for Joyce. Um, Joyce is the new one here. I think Yana is the closest. I mean, I'm wearing Joyce on my nails and it looks very close. Uh, in person here, Yana looks a little bit less Oh my gosh, what is the right word here? Liana is like a little bit more of a bright pink and Joyce has just a little bit of that kind of like red coraliness to it. So I did bring in Sonja and LC, which are both kind of like, you know, a little bit more red corally. Um, and I will show you these four on the nails, Yana, Joyce, Sonja, and LC. Um, but I did wanna show you some other pinks just to kind of show you how it fits in. So I'm gonna show you these four on the neck. Okay, here we go. So I would say that um, definitely Joyce looks a little bit more blue toned than these others, which I kind of expected, but even my blue toned pinks, they didn't have enough of the kind of like juicy, vibrant redness that's in here. And so I definitely think that this one is unique in my collection, which is amazing because Zoe's got a lot of pinks. We all know Zoe's got a lot of pinks, <laughs> but I think this one feels unique. It's on this finger too. So yeah, I love this one um, actually like a lot. I'm really surprised by how much I love it, but uh, it's just like the nice balance between kind of, I don't know, blue toned and bright. It's, it's really, really nice. Okay, so those are the six polishes in this collection, and I am going to surprise you, I think, a little bit. I love Val, it's a beautiful blue, but I think my favorite from this collection is actually Ella. I love a good coral like this, especially in the spring. I think Val's great. I don't know that it feels totally revolutionary. I do really enjoy it, and I think maybe when I wear it, it'll grow on me more. But the one that, honestly, when I saw it, I was so excited about was Ella. I just love corals like this, especially in the spring. I think they're really nice and bright, and this one has a really lovely formula. It's super easy to work with, and so I'm really excited about this one. I love doing some comparisons for this collection because Zoya does have a lot of colors that kind of fit into this range, and so it was fun to pull those out and compare them. Let me know down below which one is your favorite from this collection. Have you already picked some up? Are you going to pick them up? I would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I can't wait to see you in next week's video. Bye.